forward slash donate. John, we find in previous scriptures, in the Old Testament, for instance, the order for people not to eat pork. I remember in the 1950s, <laughs> the people would argued against it and said, oh, that was back then, they didn't have refrigeration. Now we have good refrigerators and freezers, and we know now that that's the problem is that the meat just needs to be quickly refrigerated. And if we can just do that, then it'll be fine. In the late 1950s, they discovered it didn't work. There were other things coming out of this meat, and refrigeration didn't cure everything. 1960s, ah, now we've got a new way to deal with it. We're going to put some chemicals in the meat. Late 1960s, whoops, that didn't work. I have to try something else. Since then, they've done what they call flash freeze. Freeze it, you know? And now that should work. But yet when they thaw it out, here comes a new set of bacteria or worms and things that they have to deal with. They've even gone to the extent of doing something with radiation, radiation treatment. Can you imagine making the pig radioactive? Can you imagine glow-in-the-dark pig meat? I don't know. But this is the kind of condition that we're in when people just don't seem to want to catch on. You were told by your creator. You were told by the one who made you and I and the pig. He made us and he told us what to do. Now, of course, we have this in Islam as well. In the Quran, there's the clear order for the believers to stay away from the laham khanzir. Laham is flesh, khanzir means pig meat. And then somebody might say, well, okay, but that's just the flesh. We could eat the skin maybe, or we could maybe, you know, eat the feet of him. You know, they boil the pig's feet. Or maybe we could eat his ears, maybe because there's no flesh in the ear. And they start with all these arguments and you think, are you crazy? What is the matter with you? Haven't you understood? Here, you have an order from your creator, the one who manufactured us, okay? He's giving you clear instruction. Here's your book. Here's the owner's manual. Don't do it. And you're trying to find ways around it. What about alcohol? Again, for centuries we've been told, don't consume alcohol. It says in the Quran, more or less the meaning of it is, that there are benefits, okay, but there's damage. And the damage far outweighs any benefit you're ever going to get out of the alcohol. So leave it. Do not drink it. Don't drink alcohol. Today they can show you scientifically, ah, well, the, the chemical reaction inside the human being, the dependency on alcohol, there is something that's addictive within there, and some people are unable to get away from the addiction when they get in.